Dark Nitrous. I have my MyTouch 4G here with a version of CM9, which I accidentally put back on here. I thought I restored. Um, thought I restored my MIUI, but I didn't. I actually restored this, which I didn't want. And actually, it's the Dark Unicorn Resurrected 2.5, which I didn't like because it crashed all the time. Nothing was stable at all. So, I mean, it looks, I guess it looks pretty cool. It looks like ice cream sandwich, so that's, that's not that bad, but it, it's not stable at all. None of the CM9 or CM10s are that I found. The only CMs that are stable is 7. So I'm going to show you how to flash a ROM, particularly uh, MIUI, and that'll be that. So first of all, first of all, make sure you back up your contacts with your Google account or your SIM card, whatever you want. Mine are with my Google account, so that's all good. Um, make sure you back up your apps. You can do that with ROM Toolbox. I don't have the pro version, so you go to App Manager. It loads all your apps, whatever. I already did this, so I'm not going to, but you can go to Downloaded. Come on. And you can click Menu in batch mode and then you'll have to go to um, run backup all user apps I'm not going to do it because I already did and it'll select all these and back them up and I'll show you how to restore them when we get to MIUI so once everything's situated you saved everything you want uh, pictures are already saved in your SD card, you don't have to worry about that. But like accounts and apps that you want, make sure you save those. Alright, so for me, I'm going to hold down the power button, click on reboot. Most of you probably won't have this menu, but I'll select recovery, and then I'll open clockwork mod recovery. All right, now we're here. I'm going to wipe data and factory reset, which is right there. Go down to yes. Factory restoring, formatting data in cache, cache, catch, I don't know, I call it catch. Alright, now I'm going to go down to advanced, but you can't see that. Advanced is right there. And I'll go down to wipe Dalvik cache cache whatever. My camera doesn't like to autofocus on this blue and white text. I don't understand why. There it is. Click OK. And it's already done. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, okay, I gotta go here. Okay, now it's done. Now I will go to Reboot Recovery. It's at the top. And eventually, that starts. What the hell? I don't know 
what it's doing. Okay, well it wants to be a pain in my ass now. Oh, he's making a video, let's fuck up. Alright, well since it's being a bastard, I have to pull the battery. Because otherwise it's just going to sit there at the black screen and I can't do anything. Alright, take that out for like 5 seconds. They say, oh 15 seconds, take it out for 15 seconds. Who gives a shit? 15 seconds doesn't do anything. There's no power in the phone, so what the hell does it matter? Alright, hold down the power button and the power. I mean the volume down and the power. Let's go to... Fuck you. Okay, let's go to recovery. Okay, now I'm going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Go down and it will be in downloaded underscore ROM because that's where um, the ROM manager saves its stuff, why isn't it opening? Maybe it doesn't store it there, what the fuck. Okay, maybe it stores it in Clockwork Mod. Yes it does, okay. Download. ROMs Glacier, MIUI is right there. 2.8.10, latest one. Install, and now it's gonna Go ahead and do that. Actually, shouldn't take long at all. Come on, you can focus. Quit being a douche. I don't understand this camera. Why don't you fucking focus? There it is. Says it's completed. Now it's gonna take five minutes to load or to boot. All right, it's complete. Now I'm gonna go to go back. Reboot system now. It's right there. Sorry for my focus, it's just being a pain in my ass. Now we get to sit here and wait. And uh, just for your sake, I'm not cutting the video, you know, to come back when it's fully loaded. Because I know there's videos, and for example, the Xbox 360 videos with the red ring of death. And they put in the screws, and they put in the new uh, cooling gel right and then they cut the scene and then next scene it's all put back together they're like okay now it's hooked up and they show you the wire that's hooked up right to the TV oh it's hooked up to this Xbox so we know it's not a 
fake or whatever, and then it fucking turns right on with all green lights and everything, and fucking works like a charm. That's not what happens, I'm sorry, but I just tried doing that with my PS3 and my Xbox, and sorry to tell you, but I still got three red rings. I did the, um, I did the screws instead of the uh, X clamps and then I did I put on new cooling gel and that didn't work the first time so alright I took that off and I saw another video that said to use a heat gun that looks like a hair dryer and I did that and then I put the screws on and reapplied the gel and it still didn't work so then I went to the PS3 this guy had a video on heating up the motherboard and then re I guess re-soldering the CPU and GPU back to the motherboard with the heat gun just like circle around the CPU and GPU with that and it should melt the solder points back on or whatever that didn't work I put it back together and it got some freaking blinking lights again so I picked it up and I threw it on the ground as, as hard as I could then I picked up the Xbox and smashed that and then I took them out to the trash because I had enough but we are back so yeah like I said those videos are just fucking they're ridiculously fake I'm sure they work for some people but they can't work for everybody. Oh, it's fail-proof. Bullshit. I mean, I deal with computers. Excuse me for a second. I built that. I built this computer. And as you can see, it's not very... Sorry for the toilet paper on the fan. I'm trying to filter out the uh, dust. As you can see, though, it's not very like it's not that which is like out of the store factory BS I actually built that thing and it works perfectly fine but no this Xbox rebuilding resoldering BS is just trash let me focus this real quick all right okay it's still not focused Alright, so we are back at MIUI. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this stupid thing right here. And for the sake of it, I'm disabling this live wallpaper because I don't like it. And I like this ocean one. So I'm going to keep the ocean one. Alright. I don't like this either. Sorry, I'm kind of customizing already. I didn't even get started. 